What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another idiotic video for you to watch. All right guys, so we're at a hotel. Um, two beds, all right, separate beds. Good. Yeah. Oh, oh, let me oh I'm say, working. Say he's over there, uh, editing some video actually. He's actually, he actually shot uh, a wedding on his own over here yesterday. Yeah, I'm not and, doing uh, that again. Only once a year. He's editing. <laughs> he's editing. But we are now in Buffalo, uh, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, and we are at our hotel. And I want to quickly show you guys what we packed uh, to come film this wedding. Obviously, we're on an airplane, and we also have to have clothes. So the wedding is tomorrow. We're going to stay tomorrow night after the wedding, and then we're going to go home in the morning. And pretty much carried each of us had our own backpack which is i guess our personal item and two carry-on luggages no check bags full wedding cinematic kit including underwear and socks <laughs> all in one place so here we go let's do a quick walkthrough of what we bought what what we brought with us Phone. No, I don't. Not apparently not. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so here, obviously, had to bring along the co-cinematographer, Save Park. Yes. The one and only. Um, Good carry-on. Exactly. Carry-on item. And uh, so this is my backpack. I did a uh, review on it. It's the uh, Bevis Gear Top Shelf. So in here, I have drone with, I'm actually just winging it here. I only have one battery with me, I believe. Is that all it took? YOLO. Just one battery. I usually don't fly for that long, probably only two, three minutes, and that's it. I have my A7S III, my main one, another A7S III, my Nifty 50 G Master F1.2, which is gonna go with me, and it ha also has the Freewell uh, Versatile ND slash whatever, slash whatever, slash miss, and all this stuff. It's all here. Got a 14 millimeter for some epic wides if needed. And of course, a new Sur Sure. Sure. Say it right. Sure. Juin and Sure. 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 Sure T 2.9 anamorphic lens, 50 millimeter, full frame, whatever. So uh, within here, I have, oh God, it's really tight. So she said. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> So, wow, this didn't work out. But anyways, I got in this little case, just put two lab mics for one of them, you know, lab um, groom or efficient, but we'll see later. Say also brings his, so we have a lot of backup, audio backup, backup but um, I don't clip um, the uh, the groom or the efficient when I mic them up. I actually just gaff tape the lab to their jacket inside, and it has been working pretty well. So that's that, and this is all the gaff tape I would use for it. I just kind of just, instead of having a bigger roll, I just kind of taped it back here. Uh, not the cut, obviously. Two PCM A10s. Um, Say also has one in his backpack, as I'll yeah. show you in a second. Um, so obviously this is to put into the groom's pocket, officiant's pocket. These are also the mics that I put into the DJ uh, booth or the speaker or whatever he provides for me. And then I also have this backup Sony trash douchebag uh, mini Asian penis sized uh, <laughs> audio recorder. I mean, I mean all of our yeah. recorders. <laughs> and, <laughs> and there's a backup Holland wireless system that I use only if necessary. So a lot of audio backups here. Um, and this is just for my phone, so this is just cell phone charger, things of that nature. And uh, what else do I have in this bag? Let me. All right, great. Now I'm gonna have to reorganize this. <laughs> Put it back in there. Oh, this bag is SD card. RGB LED light, just in case. I think in here, I have a bunch of batteries in here. I think really that's all you need to know in terms of what I had for me to film a wedding. 
You want to do your backpack? No one, they were necessary. Yeah, man. So, uh, thanks for, uh, I didn't know he was gonna go through my backpack like One take, security. one take, okay. Right. <laughs> it's messy. Uh-oh. Because clearly he knew he was gonna go through his backpack. He didn't tell me this. So. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all shifted, jaggedy whack backpack set up. And this is a special wedding because I also got the 50mm 1.2 rental. Because uh, I'm not gangster enough to actually buy one yet. Oh no. So I do have a free well on one nifty variable ND thing. Yeah, so it, it does shift a little bit. Um, isn't, this, isn't, it, isn't it the wrong way? If you put it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it still falls out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's not so maybe I'll make a video on that. So this is Vu's camera, so he can't carry everything. Did you leave your camera on? <laughs> Did I? Uh, Sony it, does this sometimes. Is it battery on? on? Just make sure there's battery. That's probably 100%, right? It was on sleep the whole time? Yeah. So Sony 87, so okay, this, this could have been maybe on. It's fine. So yeah. Sony happens. You got to watch it because it does turn on just by like just shifting it a little bit. Um, so I guess what you need to know in terms of what I bring. This is actually important. Oh, snap. This. Yeah, it's the new command item. strip. Don't, don't depend on your photographer to have this. No. So when we struggle to like hang up dresses, I finally got one. Always try to like bring that. Hot commodity. Yeah. So I got one light only because, you know, Vu always says, stay lit. So got one light, this YC onion. Like it's pretty good, it's magnetic. So got that. Oh my God, see I'm not organized. All right, this right here, same recorder. So we have three total. Yeah. So this is completely sold out right now. So even though I like recommend to people all the time, because it is like the best, but you can't buy it right now. It's all out of stock. Uh, granola bars. <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> um, so in terms of like, I, I should, the most important thing. Lav, things of nature, everything yeah. is in so, there. I mean, like, SD cards. It's, it's like all little knickknacks, mm -hmm. but what's important on this, I And a Juin uh, quick release plate. Yeah. So I literally like shoved everything in here. This is not a good example of how you pack. Okay. I think this used to be here and so I shifted it over here. All right. Um, but gimbal, right? So Vu told me that I got to pack everything in one backpack. He's like, yo, whatever you bring. You bring dry fish, make sure it fits in your backpack. Like, is there okay. kimchi in that backpack? I almost brought it, but it couldn't fit because I had to bring this. And is it considered liquid? So, oh hey, that's all the trees belt. So, Weevil, not two, so I brought Weevil S. Because, yeah, I couldn't fit it. Like, it's just too fat and it just comes out too much. So, Weevil S, like, it's like tiny. I mean, without the tripod, so it brought that. So that's pretty much it in terms of like camera gear stuff. There's a lot of other like knickknacks, like earplug for, you know, loudspeakers. Oh yeah, I got earplug yeah. in mine. Yeah, so there's like little things here and there that we have. Right. In terms of actual gear that yeah. barely fits, it's yep. literally like two cameras and a Sony camera. So like even like big lenses. Yeah, I have plenty of space. I could have fit like a larger lens here, but um, Vu got the 24 millimeter here that fits really well. So that's what I got. And we're ready for a wedding tomorrow. Not yet. We still got to go through <laughs> these two boxes here. These are the carry on boxes. And uh, again, I am actually filming this entirely on the Pixel 6 Pro. It just gave me a heat warning at seven oh, wow. minutes. So I'm going to stop it to cut and then I'm going to. Buffalo. And I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to continue with this in a second. So this is pretty much. Performing right on on par with Canon oh. Canon R5 overheating. So I brought my laptop. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he also put his laptop in there. Yeah. So um, so I can't fit anything else. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Pixel 6 Pro performing just like the Canon R5 in terms of heating after about seven minutes. So all right. So you guys are probably wondering, like, yo, where are these dudes' tripods and light stands? Are they gonna just YOLO and right here? And they're gonna get. <laughs> They, are they gonna <laughs> your light stand is where they're gonna use YOLO and pretty much just rely on Sony a7s3 low light capabilities for lighting no sir no sir let's first open up this black box and of course we have my undergarments shirts things of that nature but of course 
right here is um, you know audio cables I need for the DJ. Pretty much all that I usually use. An additional RGB LED light if needed. Some more like power adapters, uh, battery charger for the Sony A7S 3 if needed, but all our batteries are pre-charged, right say? Um, <laughs> I hope so. Um, and again, this is the Nanuk 935, uh, pretty much carry-on size um, bag uh, box for photography or whatever else you want to do on a waterproof box. But if I remove my clothes here, um, I have like socks. I have my damaged 135, which I'll get fixed, but for now it still works. So that's a 135 GM lens for telephoto use for ceremony. This is a Tamron. Uh, 70 to 180 uh, also telephoto lens for ceremony one will be on a7r3 the other a7s3 and we want to showcase the tripod so I have here again see Suray Suray's travel carbon fiber tripods I have two of them um, one I forgot the model name Links in the description below. ST124 and ST125 carbon fiber travel tripods with the fluid head. Where's the fluid head? The two fluid heads are right here. So obviously you just take the fluid head, put it here. And so that's our two tripods and it all fits like so in a carry-on box. You don't have to carry a separate box. You don't have to check it in. It fits right here. They're stable, they work. This is what we use on all weddings, not just travel weddings, correct? Yeah, and it's super light. Like, you, you lift that and you're like, Super light, that? you know, feels nice in the hand. Uh, I'm used to this kind of kind of thing. <laughs> it's like, but uh, yeah, so one is, one is a little bigger than the other, but they're pretty much the same, like in terms of durability. Again, great for travel, or just great for just using all the time, in my opinion. Um, so we'll have more information on these tripods uh, in another video. All right, so pretty much this had my clothes, you know, enough for tonight, tomorrow, and the next day when we go back home. Two tripods, two telephoto lens for ceremony, heads, audio cables, some knickknacks. So here is our light case. And this light case has says underpants and stuff. <laughs> I'll just remove this real quick out from the side. This is actually my DJI Ronin RS2. Ronin, this is my whole gimbal. It was just in this bag broken down. Ghetto, I know, last minute, whatever. Gaff tape, two Kame TV bolts and lights. Uh, also, audio cables, gaff tapes to hold on, hold down these travel light stands. So I have three travel light stands in here. Matthews travel light stands. And uh, they've been working pretty decent. Um, just make sure we tape down the legs. And um, if I need to, I have this adapter for the RGB light there, if I want to put an additional, because I only have two of these Kane TV Boltons three stands the third stand is sometimes for an rgb light if needed and yeah so pretty much we got our own light kit for this for the reception ceremony if needed tripods everything all our camera stuff korean immigrant everything is here in order for the wedding so yeah guys that is how i pack for travel and the only thing different Difficult for us is the fact that we had to pack clothes, but generally speaking for the most part This is how we yeah, this, this is, is very we, realistic. This like, is what we bring to weddings like it, I try really hard to make sure that the kit that I use for every local wedding is the same exact kit I bring for travel so I don't have to like Change anything. I don't have to have like different gear or what have you to travel with I try to maintain the same exact thing. So there's no like Rewriting the wheel. What was it? Reinventing the wheel. Rein reinventing the wheel. Rewriting a script. Redoing a storyboard <laughs> for 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 a wedding out of town, across the country, in South Korea, North Korea, whatever. Kim Chung, you know, is getting married. He wants us to film it. We'll do it. All the same kit we filmed 
I don't know, whatever. So, <laughs> anyways, maybe I'll vlog again tomorrow during the wedding. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, if not, I'll probably just do a closer at home. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. Uh, yeah, looking forward to this crazy month of October into November and into the holidays with all this YouTube douchebag trash content. Anyways, guys, till next time, lighten up.